And it said that if you do something that you love, you'll never work a day in your life. Chalisa Osborne is doing just that. She's going back to her first love, farming, after being in the healthcare system for a short while. She joins us now. Hey, Chalisa. Hi, good morning. Good morning, how are you? I am doing well, and how about you? I am awesome, thank you for asking. So let me take you back to this love for farming. Where did it all begin? Well, from ever since I know myself, I was always planting something, I was always doing something outside. Mm -hmm. Always going into my mother's kitchen, taking out stuff, planting outside. And also while going to school, primary school, high school, I was involved in the 4-H club. Mm -hmm. So from there, I've gotten skills to enhance myself. So yeah. from there, I was always doing something, farming or mm -hmm. something agricultural. Yeah, you're a rural girl. What, what, what parish or area are you from? I'm from Chilonay. Oh, but I, I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> I got it. And so this is something that you love, but often... Times, you know, when you go to school, they say, um, let's focus on a career. And, and so why did you choose nursing? How did you end up in nursing? I, it, I just happened to, happened to end up in nursing. My mother always wanted me to be a nurse. Mm -hmm. I had the, the academic skills to do that. Right. So I just ended up doing nursing. So oh. while doing nursing, I realized that, you know, this was not me, mm -hmm. really. But I so I wanted to, to go back. So from fourth year, I was planning on like I was saying, oh, I'm gonna put my mother It's it's it. <laughs> yeah, and it's interesting. Yeah. I know there are a lot of people who are watching now because I know a lot of people they want to get into the nursing program. Getting into yes, nursing in Jamaica not easy. Completing it not easy. Um, mm -hmm. and you and you did it and you did it well. Yes, 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 yes. So while doing all that, I remember waiting on completing, graduating, and waiting on my license. And when I was awaiting my license, I was saying, because remember from fourth year, I wanted to tell my mother that, listen, I'm not going to let this down. So, um, so I wanted to tell her, mm. and after completing and awaiting my license, I decided that, listen, I'll be brave, I'll be courageous. I mean, I got just... Tell her. You know, tell her. Mm. I'm going to tell her. I'm going to tell her. You're going to school for four years. I got you, I did. I'm going to do that. So meanwhile, I wait in the light to make it more like a window, more like an opportunity. They say, all right, never, never do something. So I remember because in 4-H, I was trained, basic training in agriculture. Mm -hmm. So I said, all right, that never do. Do like a something. So I, re so I remembered while planning, so this is the thing, you know, how funny it is. While I made a decision to do agriculture, I didn't have the capital to start because remember, I was awaiting the life that I was working. Mm -hmm. My mother was the one that gave me the capital to start, <laughs> you know? Yes, man, she gave me the capital to start. I started, and a while starting, I heard about the master level program that 4-H had, mm -hmm. because we are trained, 4-H, I have a master level program trained by Mr. Anthony Mitchell, who is an agricultural officer. Mm -hmm. We're training agriculture, rabbit care and management, goat care and management, you know, the works. Mm -hmm. So while... I was waiting, I was putting everything into play, and I saw it, and I took the plunge, I started the training, I got certificates in that training, and then after completing those training, I realized that, listen, it's agriculture, it's in a wide base, so I want to can go into something else, while having the bees, raising the bees, mm -hmm. what am I going to do in that meantime, I said, why? So someone encouraged me that I can go into crop production, happy for farming. And I said, all right, I took his advice. I went ahead, I got the property, I plowed it, I put in the, the, the things in there. And then, all right, so that is in case. And so I realized that 4-H also have certification for youth farmers. In collaboration with Heart Trust NT, I got my certificate. So I love these certification programs because it helps you to realize that you are knowledgeable in what you're doing. So I got those certificates, I said, the jump on board, ready, everything finalized. So I said, okay, fine, what's next? So I realized that transitioning from nursing to farming, you know, I have a lot of person questioning, like, why, you know, farming to um, nursing to farming, where that come about? So I am grateful for that because 
agriculture is not just about old people because people have this stigma that once you're so once you're doing agriculture it's for old people Correct. it's for people who are uneducated so those certification program helps to eradicate those stigmas mm -hmm. i think and one of the I, things I, to one of the things to um chalisa is that uh, young people want to be successful they're ambitious yes. Um, yes. And so if you can show them that what they love can be, mm -hmm. can, can allow them the opportunity to realize their dreams, as you have, um, more young people would, would gravitate towards it. Because I'm listening to you talk and you, you know, you're doing, you're doing your, your bees and then you go to your small ruminants and then now you're doing your pepper. Um, it, seems, it sounds to me like you're getting the kind of support from the 4-H to, to lead you to the path that you're, you're going to be successful at the thing you love. What is mommy saying now? Because I feel like well, she, she gave the help while you're waiting, so you're not idle. But yeah, now look yeah. at where you are. So what is she saying now? My, mo my mother is super proud. My mother is super proud of where I have progressed. Yes. Because it is, the thing is, it's not just 4-H that has led me here. Because um, what happened is that the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, especially the Agriculture Department, they provide training on a monthly basis for persons who want to enter beekeeping. So you have those training coming on. Yes. So we are trained because since recently I have the opportunity of engaging in one of those free training, the queen rearing training mm -hmm. for beekeepers. So that is there. So you have those support, those people, because we want to show people that agriculture is not just a hobby or something that someone do, it's a mm -hmm. business. Mm -hmm. Is a business. For example, myself, my business is called Be Wild. So we we, we have we only we have we crop productions in. We have those things so much so that I am not able to employ two persons on a part time basis to help me in picking my peppers. Wow. So it's that clear. So it is it is a good opportunity. We want young people to know that. Listen, agriculture is dear. So for me. One of my aim is to be an agricultural ambassador. So once I tell people, once, when I am agricultural ambassador, I'm going to show people, especially young people, women, that agriculture is something that you can do. It's an exciting career. Mm -hmm. It is a career that you can see your return of investment. Mm -hmm. So much so that I am not able to start paying my student loan. You know, so it is a career. It is something that you can dive into. If it is your passion, find your passion and live your passion. Listen, very important to me, and I say this to parents all the time, children know what they're destined to become. And if you exactly. observe them, what, between one to five, they're telling you who they are. Because at that yes, age, that you were true. already doing your farming. And sometimes yes. we, we steer them away, but just observe them. And then help them walk into purpose and the joy that I'm seeing you with now. Second thing, you are an agricultural ambassador. What you're doing this morning, and the amb ambassador is by how you live and your example, and you're a great example to young farmers. So you are an ambassador. So when you become, you already are. I am. I am. Great to meet you, Chalisa. Keep on doing what you're doing, and all the best. Thank Send some pepper for me. All right, we'll do. And also, you know, Dela, the thing about it is that I could have never have done it without my mentors and my coaches. For example, Sherlock Pinnock, who is a B instructor, yes. the forage manager, Natanish, and my rather extension officer, Mr. Paul Warren, and Me Ms. Sharon Thomas. No, Chalice, mm. so so no, nobody, like like no, nobody broke out in the greetings. No, nobody broke out in the greetings now, because I can't farm, so I can't lose my work on TVJ. I <laughs> have to go. It was great <laughs> meeting you, so my love. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chelsea's her husband, farmer, <laughs> agriculture ambassador. Still to come in 10 minutes to your health. We look at Parkinson's disease, so please stay with us. <laughs>